in your hospital or your GP surgery, a member of staff most people have never heard of. Hello. I'm Alice, I'm one of the physician associates on the ward today. Physician associates. It works really well if you can get them into a department, get them working in there to all the protocols that are in place, they're fantastic. You cannot have a situation in which someone with so little training is deciding whether someone is or is not ill. Four and a half thousand PAs and anaesthetic associates are on the voluntary register in the UK and there are plans to expand their numbers. They have two years postgraduate training and can examine, diagnose and treat patients under the supervision of doctors. But in February, NHS England made it clear PAs are not doctors and cannot and must not replace them. The increasingly toxic row over physician associates is now making its way out of the wards and out of GP surgeries. It's seen revolts by members of royal colleges. It's seen a plea for a government intervention and it's now making its way into the courts. And now figures obtained by Channel 4 News show that even after the NHS warning, PAs still appear to be covering doctors' shifts. Of the 145 trusts who responded to our freedom of information requests, 11 had used PAs to cover rota gaps between April and September of this year. And this was at least 109 times across departments, including paediatrics, care of the elderly, acute medicine, A&E and trauma. A further 14 trusts worryingly said they did not know. Whether these PAs are working outside their expertise is far from clear. A common response was that additional PAs may be employed to support the medical workforce where there are vacant gaps on the medical rotors. Well, it's an appalling uh, state of affairs given the instruction that went out uh, many months ago to, to stop such uh, uh, practices and the, the observation that this is still taking place makes you wonder whether this is the tip of the iceberg. It, it, it needs to stop and therefore we're calling on a, a kind of immediate halt to the practice of uh, physician associate expansion because this is a clear risk to patient safety. No Stephen Nash is the CEO of the newly formed organisation supporting PAs and works as one himself. I think there is evidence been found um, over the last year, very small amounts where employers have tried to push physician associates and, um, and they haven't had that strength to be able to say no and that's where we've seen things go wrong. I think that's where regulation comes in, I think that's where good governance comes in. Um, and I think that's where employer responsibility comes in as well. The case for PAs is that they provide continuity for the patients and they take some of the pressure off medical staff. They're bright, enthusiastic individuals who've gone to university to undertake their degrees with all the enthusiasm that I did when I went to medical school. Yeah, but they haven't gone to medical school. I mean, that no, they is the critical but they, point. They do yeah. still have, they have still been trained in, in the area that they're working in. None of the PAs at the Royal Berkshire were prepared to speak, not least because of the online vitriol against them. These anonymous posts from a doctor's group describe PAs as a joke, as clowns. One even writes, tell them to bugger off back to whatever hellhole they came from. Personal attacks in social media, um, we just condemn because you know these are individuals trying their best within the workplace um, uh, and trying to help the best that they they can but we are seeing um, uh, situations in which uh, physicians associates are actively saying that they can do things that doctors can and should be doing and, and you absolutely have the evidence of that yes we do in 2022, Emily Chesterton died from an undiagnosed pulmonary embolism. She had believed the PA was a GP. And Susan Pollitt died after a drain to remove fluid from her abdomen was left in for too long. The coroner in that case commented, The lack of distinct uniform and title physician gives rise to confusion as to whether the practitioner is a doctor. Now Channel 4 News understands the government is to order a rapid review into the use of PAs. 
I think if you could substantiate a patient safety issue currently, then you could argue that a pause was required. I haven't seen evidence that suggests that there is a patient safety issue currently. Um, there have been absolute tragedies that have taken place on a very small scale, but as far as evidence-based practition goes, even the Academy of Rural Medical Colleges came out recently and said we're not sure where this is coming from. The Department of Health and Social Care said... Physician associates play an important role in the NHS, as they have for over two decades. But we're clear they should be supporting, not replacing doctors, and should receive the appropriate level of supervision by healthcare organisations. From December, PAs will be regulated by the General Medical Council, the move also angering some doctors who say, once again, physician associates are not medical. Start by taking blood pressure. On this ward, they don't dispute this, but they do say PAs are now an integral part of many hospital teams. 